Hi guys and welcome to my review for the Chimera Hodur. I hope I'm saying this correctly. The Hodur is part of um, Chimera's uh, dark series, and uh, uh, Chimera has a has a, a long-standing tendency to to follow uh, North um, uh, mythology, uh, and, uh, and Hodur is is no different. Hodur is um, uh, one of the sons of uh, of Frigg and Odin. Um, he represents darkness and and winter, and uh, is bestowed with incredible strength. Um, although, uh, in the midst of all of this, uh, he is uh, also blind, and he has a a brother called uh, Baldar, which uh, represents uh, light. Together, uh, they have uh, different. Uh, different uh, positions or different, um, uh, how do I say, different um, uh, likings, uh, while, um, while uh, Hodor uh, has always uh, had a sense of feeling alienated and, and somewhat uh, unloved and left alone, and Baldar has always been the adored one. And so over time, uh, this, this negative state of mind that Hodor has uh, is... Um, is uh, taken over um, by Loki, who uh, tricks him into uh, murdering his brother, uh, who, by the way, are, are twins. Um, and so, um, Baldar gets killed by Hodur uh, with a, a mistletoe that's, uh, as the legend goes, with a mistletoe that's in the shape of a of, a, of an arrow and uh, guided by by Loki, Loki's hand, since uh, Hodur is blind. He kills his brother, uh, Frigg, uh, who is the mother, and and even before this happening, uh, who is uh, who was aware of of this uh, this uh, of this um, uh, conspiracy from the part of uh, on the spot on the part of of Loki uh, had uh, uh, made a, a, an arrangement with with all of creation that uh, they would. Uh, they would protect Baldur, and no harm would come to Baldur. But but she forgot to speak with uh, the mistletoe, and and thus the mistletoe was the one used as the the weapon or the, the instrument for the death of uh, of uh, Baldur. Um, obviously, all this whole situation rages Odin, the father, and uh, he 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 wants to take. Uh, he, although he wants to take it upon his hands to avenge uh, one of his son's death. Um, he, he cannot do that, so he uh, asks uh, God uh, Vali uh, to to uh, take out Odur and to banish him into the outer most of darkness. Anyway, after Ragnarok, which is uh, the end of the world, basically, um, Baldr and Odur are united and they reconcile, and the truth comes out that uh, uh, all of this uh, all of this attitude by Odur towards his brother was. The work of, of Loki and under the influence of Loki's spell, let's put it that way. And uh, at the same time, this also enables Hodur to, to, to face his own, uh, uh, let's say, demons and his own darkness, which is uh, this, 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 these feelings of, of, of being unloved and so on and so forth that he had. Anyway, uh, I just thought it would be interesting to just give you a little bit of a, of a background into this whole... Uh, uh, this whole theme that Chimera follows and follows it very well, um, and well, on to what matters, which is the, the actual IEM itself, which I've, I've now been boring you with this uh, whole uh, story. Um, what is the uh, what is the Odur? The Odur is um, a tribrid. Uh, it has uh, a ten millimeter um, coaxial uh, Tesla driver. And it's coaxial because the electrostatic driver, it's actually a magnetostatic, more, more of a magnetostatic driver. It's not so much an electrostatic driver like the ones from Sonian. The electrostatic driver is actually mounted coaxially on it. And then it's got um, also a, a customized uh, BA driver, a uh, K10012, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, it's a three driver configuration. Um, and it's it's uh, actually let me just quickly show you the box and then we'll, we'll I'll, I'll explain better how I myself position the the Odur. The box is the very typical Chimera kind of hexagon uh, vibe going on. Opens up 
and it brings um, a whole bunch of, of uh, paperwork, uh, uh, you know, uh, with, with details about the IEM and so on and so forth. Very, very um, displayed in a very, uh, very curious fashion. Let's put it that way. Final e tips, loads of them, plus some more. Um, I don't know what these tips are. They they, they are Canera, probably Canera ones. I don't know. Uh, plus then some uh, tips which are reminiscent of the um, KB Euro tips, and I'm actually using the yellow ones on this one on the the Hodur. Uh, it brings a three and a half and a four point four millimeter um, plug for the cable. So it's it's not a three way, let's say modular cable. It's a two way modular cable. The IMs came over there. Um, and yeah, it brings a very nice case actually, well, very nice, it's, it's, a, it's the usual case which we've seen time again, but it's nice in the sense that they've actually, you know, gone to the trouble of, of uh, getting it, uh, you know, with the logo, Adur and everything, so the whole presentation part of, of the Adur is, is typical Kynera, I mean, in that aspect, Kynera, uh, and although um, this is, is the, let's say, I had previously tested a, another Chimera, and I've just recently tested now the the Celeste Gumio and the and the Pandamon, but this is the first serious Chimera, let's put it that way, that I test. But that doesn't mean that I wasn't aware of the brand, and I didn't know what the style of the brand was. And the style of the brand has always been one where a, 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 a very special attention is paid to the the look, to the to the build of the IEM, to the 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 visual impact that the IEM has and uh, in that aspect I mean top marks uh, nothing can be said not only with regards to the actual IEM because it is at least in my opinion it is a good looking IEM uh, relatively small metal shell it, and it's got just just very classy nuances which make it you see it's this kind of detail like Canera very subtly put the a little subtle detail as well there with some kind of uh, I don't know, shiny, whatever. I, I can't really explain it. Well, it just looks very, very premium. Okay, so very Chimera, very premium, very, very nicely, very classily done. Um, the shell is not heavy; it's very light, actually. You know, if you take into consideration what it is, and it's a metal shell as well, and everything. The cable is half decent. Doesn't uh, I don't really have any issues with the cable. Doesn't tangle. Doesn't anything. Really nice. Um, the termination is also good quality, nice. Um, which now brings me to the actual fit, and that's where uh, perhaps uh, in the midst of, of so much uh, positive talk, uh, I um, have to you know call attention to the fit, which at least in my particular case, and, and usually this is not a, something which happens frequently, I have no issues, for example, with with the tensium oxygen or no significant issues like a lot of people had no significant issues as well with the bold uh, with the bold with the blano 3 um, generally most ims fit me uh, you know with relative ease however uh, the hodur uh, i did struggle to get it to fit nicely and uh, i then discovered that the main issue of that uh, difficulty in the fit is the is the how my ear and this is just me how my ear comes into contact very easily with the cable and with the way that it exits the actual IEM so uh, the only solution that I was able to find was either swapping the cable out for another one which I did and I listened to it uh, extensively with the with the other cable I've just got it here with the stock cable so that you guys could see the stock cable and it's a, it's a very decent stock cable action but with the stock cable the only way I could get it to fit nicely and in the way that I wanted was to not have it go around my ear so basically put it like this outside of my ear instead of going over my earlobe put it on the front which obviously is not the proper way of wearing it but in that way yes in that way I was able to get the fit which I want or and which is the perfect one for me which is a really nice deep fit and the difference between these IMs sitting in the normal position let's put it that way let's forget now the cable being a problem for for me or for for me or for some other people 
the difference between it sitting in its normal position and the difference between actually being able to uh, deep fit it in, in, in terms of what the sound is like is uh, huge, 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 huge. I cannot even begin to describe how, how, how big the difference is. Uh, it takes an IM which plays well and is engaging and is nice and, and, and I, I was quite impressed, I have to say, because truth be told, um, some of the, 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 the uh, some of the, of the, of the, of the little reading or of the little reviews that I had read about the Hodur, um, they weren't exactly the most positive and I guess it's because of the unusual way in which Kainero usually tunes their IMs. And being unusual doesn't mean it's bad, and I'll get to that in a second as well. Um, but the difference between that and then actually being able to deep fit it is, it goes from good to being fantastic. I know this is like, oh wow, okay, he's chilling, he's chilling the IEM now. No, I'm not chilling, I'm just saying and stating a, a very obvious fact. It goes from being an IEM which is fun, to being an IEM which really, really impresses me. Um, so fit is something which can can possibly be a problem for some of us or some of you uh, in my case it was and but i, I found a way around it and, and and that's it so i just used a different cable i actually used a, an xinhs cable similar to, to that sort of thing um once it is fitting nicely the isolation is perfect the the, the im just basically disappears in my ear I have no issues with that so isolation is fine it's 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 perfect once it's got in the, you know it's in its place um, outside noise is not not an issue nothing it, it it when 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 it's in its place it's amazing so that basically covers the uh, let's put the, the 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 history in terms of of this uh, of this uh, of the reasoning for the name and it covers as well the the, the physical aspect of it so Let's talk about sound because that's what we're here for okay and when it comes to sound um, the selection i've made is, is not a selection so much of oh this is better that is worse no it's a selection based on uh, a few factors uh, on the right side i have the iams which i consider to be iams which uh, fall outside of the norm uh, and this goes along what I was just saying earlier about the tuning. Uh, Kynera, and I think uh, that perhaps Kynera has not sometimes gotten the, the, the deserved love uh, by the majority of people because they have a very unusual way of tuning the IEMs. And I've been uh, one and, uh, of, the, of the few people that always says, and those that follow me know that uh, the, what I'm about to say is, is exactly that. If you're going to try a novel tuning, make sure that when you try that novel tuning, that you really try it, that you put it out there, that you experiment, you see if people like it, and then you launch it. If you're not going to go down that road, if you're just going to try something without every, you know, without trying it halfway, at least, then go with mainstream. Go just go do a diffuse field. Just go do a harmon tune. Be safe, and that's it. And that's basically what happens on this side here. Okay, on this side we have. Uh, three, uh, three IEMs, which are all hybrids. We have the Aur Audio Aur, a OnePlus 6. We have the Yandian Canyon, a OnePlus 4. And we have the uh, a full Performer 5, a OnePlus 4 as well. All of them have uh, more, let's say, standardized tuning options. Um, the a full uh, and the... Uh, um, well, you can't really say that they are Harman tuned, uh, you know, uh, in, in any way. They have Harmonish uh, characteristics, but they also have some neutral characteristics into them. The Aur, uh, those of you that, uh, that saw my review know that I consider it to be one of the best hybrids that you can get, period. Um, you know... For the price, which is around $380, $390, if I'm mistaken, uh, it is uh, an unbelievable IEM. It's got uh, a fantastically well done bass. Great mids. The mids are 
very met, very much reminiscent of an of another IEM that I actually that they actually make, which is the uh, Neon Pro. Um, although when you listen to the Neon Pro and you listen to this, the overall tonality and 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 presentation obviously is different because of the existence of a DD here. But the mids in themselves, by themselves, are very similar. And that IEM has got a crazy, a crazy mids. The the Neon Pro has got unbelievable mids. Probably one of the best mids for me at least that's out there available right now so bass mids everything here is perfect um highs uh, or in the right quantity myself personally and, but this has to do with me already being uh, the age that i am and not having the 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 years that i used to have when i was younger i would have liked just a little bit more energy in the highs but in no way does it mean that it doesn't have enough highs or anything. No, it's perfect. There's absolutely, honestly, there's absolutely no flaw that you can point at this IEM in terms of its tuning. It's been very well, very, very, very smartly and intelligently done. And they've nailed every single aspect of the tuning perfectly. Nothing overpowers any, you know, no, no part of the spectrum is overpowering the other. It's really well done. The Canon uh, is here because of its versatility. It's um, it, it's just insane how the switches actually change so much the, the, the signature of this IM and it goes uh, from an IM that can please the, the most of demanding of bass heads and, and treble heads to the most uh, uh, the most demanding or, or the most uh, uh, audiophile of those in us. It can it, it can do everything basically very nice, very very nice. Um, ultimately, its 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 strengths are of course uh, more more uh, you know the the, the more energetic uh, genre. So you know it, its signature is always a signature which emphasizes the bass and and the upper mids and highs to a certain extent, and and. and it it that's where it feels most comfortable in at but i mean it will do every, anything very very well basically so it's here because of that of its versatility this because it's one of the best hybrids you can get at any price point in my opinion this because of its versatility and that one there the performer 5 because for the price that it has 200 and, i believe 215 dollars as of today it's um, it's it's probably one of the the the, the, the most price to performance hybrids that you can find currently it's a it's a hybrid which offers very much the same kind of performance that you get uh, from the award in, in many instances it's it actually sounds very similar and it's cheaper so if, if you don't have the money to go as far as the award then that is a viable option as i mentioned this is about 380 the the canon is about 350 and this is about 215 dollars on this side, and going back to, to the beginning when I, when, I, once I, when I first started talking about them, we have the, the Odur, which is around $300, 295 if I'm mistaken. We have the ISN Audio H50, and we have the Pinon Serial. Um, again, I repeat, these three are here because they've got different sound signatures that have been very well done. Uh, you look at the graphs of those there, of those three, and you can very easily uh, identify and say, okay, this is going to sound good. Uh, I, I think I'm going to like this. It's not going to. And when you listen to it, it very much matches the graph. Very much matches what you have seen. Oh, sorry, what you hear. On these three, you see the graphs, and uh, in some instances, for example, in the case of the H50, you, you said yourself, hmm, okay, this is, this could be interesting. Um, and then when you hear it, you said yourself, wow. So these are three perfect examples of companies that have gone down the, the route of a, a different tuning style, a different tuning, a different tuning approach, but they've done it smartly, they've done it intelligently, they've done their homework, and the end result is perfect. The, the serial is a 3DD, which plays unbelievably well. It's very much that old school kind of organic valve sound. It's, it's velvety, it's, it's got guts, it's got... I mean, you have to listen to the serial and, and really, truly appreciate it. Don't go um, 
don't well any IEM in general but don't listen to the serial uh, thinking that it's going to be the ultimate detail monster or the, no no uh, listen to it or listen to any IEM and take it for what it is and that there is an absolute monster crazy good in its tonality bass mids highs everything is very well executed it's got that very it's got that old school vibe to it period and it does it so so well so so well the h50 now hybrid the one plus four um again unusual very unusual the way it's been tuned but everything is very well executed very well done it's very clean detailed impactful bass um highs or crazy good as well detailed clean if anything is perhaps um, uh, uh, something that can maybe jump at you occasionally is that there is a slight recession in the early, in the in the mids it's just very slight especially on the you notice it more on the male vocals it's just slightly recessed there could be a little bit more energy in that 2k area just to but otherwise perfect very nice which brings us to the Odur. The Odur has got really good bass. Bass is the first thing that immediately jumps to you. It's clean, it's detailed, it's got insane, insanely good uh, speed for, for, for what it is. Um, it, it, it hits and stops, period. It doesn't linger, it doesn't stay there. Um, that is then coupled with really good sub bass it, it goes deep it goes i mean it doesn't go as deep as a serial no it doesn't it doesn't go as deep as for example uh, uh, the, the awur no it doesn't but it's it goes deep it's got that it's got it, the right amount of rumble to complement then the mid bass that it has those two m go into the mids perfectly the mids on here are top marks top I would take the mids of the Odur over the mids, for example, of the H50. The mids of the Odur are on the level of the Serial. The mids of the Odur are on the level of the Awur. That's to give an idea of how good I think the mids on here are. Okay? And then the highs. Um, right amount. Clean. A you do get a little bit more detail in the highs in the Awur. Than what you do on the on the on the on the hodul, you do. There's more detail here. There's more cleanliness. There's more. It's more uh, polished. It's 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 more well executed than it is here. Um, but uh, look, any one of these IMs is very very good. So the differences here are always going to be very minor, and they're all going to be very much dependent on what music you like listening to. And how the IEM interacts with your ear, how it fits your ear. Okay, so I can be saying all this that I'm saying, but this is what I myself have heard with my music. That doesn't need to necessarily apply to you guys, so always keep that in mind. So, in my opinion, the highs here are good, detailed, clean, but I found them to be just a little bit unpolished at times. In that aspect, for example, I found the highs of the serial to be a little bit more polished as well. Not as energetic, there's less highs there than what there is here, but the highs that are there are more are, are smoother. Okay? The same thing applies on, on this on this side. The highs here or of the awur are smoother, more detailed. The highs of the of the a full, I would say, are on the level of the highs of the of the Odur, they very much on, on on the same the same same you know level. The highs on the um, on the Canon are more energetic, but that comes then at the cost of them being a little bit more splashy. Uh, even in the setting which I have now, which is a setting which has got the highs in the most subdued manner, they 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 stay they are behind the highs of the Odur. So overall how can I then position them always keeping in mind what I started with saying in the beginning that this is not about this one is better that one is worse no these have got more mainstream tuning these three have got a more differentiated tuning and each one of them is very very good in their own particular style but it's very very good 
bass all of them has got all of them have got very good bass um the awood the bass as compared to the uh, the the Kinera, uh, a little bit more sub bass in the mid bass they about the same thing um that one there has got more bass but that more bass that more quantity doesn't necessarily mean that it's that's better quality no it's not uh, and they are full it's kind of trading blows it's it's very very equal here as compared to the h50 the h50 has got more mid bass impact less sub bass and then the the serial has got just insanely good sub bass and even the mid bass impact is also incredible i mean <laughs> this yeah is, is is really good mids um the the ones that stand out for me in terms of the best mid performance or the award the hodur and the serial these three are definitely the ones that have the best mids it's not that the difference that from these to those or is dramatic no but these are definitely the ones that have the best mids then this and then these two in in third place uh, highs the highs i'm going to give the overall best highs to the award and then in second place i would say the highs of these three okay and then the highs of of the uh, isn and the canon after that um in terms of technicalities really good sound stage very very good sound stage great imaging um although strangely um i didn't find the detailed retrieval it's it's good i'm not saying that the hotdo doesn't have good detailed retrieval it's got good detailed retrieval but the detailed retrieval here somehow it kind of feels it kind of feels off uh when you have such a capable sound stage and imaging i don't know what it is i honestly don't know what it is um i i, I listened carefully and and you know i listened to several things and i, I just I, I just couldn't put my finger on it um tonality i find the tonality to be um uh, you know timbre and tonality to be very good very true very realistic although out of all of these all of these the one that for me personally takes that uh, that uh, that price is the serial um, i just it's it the serial the serial and the award of other two that have the best tonality and and timbre definitely the 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 the, the others I would say these three then come in second place and then that uh, in last. But again, please guys, I, I just want to make sure that I get this really clear and, and that you guys don't... I'm trying to position this and not necessarily give it uh, a placing in terms of it's worse or it's, or it's uh, better. No, I, I'm just trying you to, to convey as, as best as I possibly can how this stacks up to the rest and and give it above all give it its deserved merits and give it its deserved recognition because the hodur is really really good that's i mean i got i gain absolutely nothing from saying this absolutely nothing i've got nothing to i'm not gonna get any monetary compensations i'm not getting any nothing this is a really well executed i am it's as simple as that and for some reason i just i don't know why it just I, hasn't gotten the deserved um uh, you know the deserved limelight the deserved um, recognition uh, and, and it's not the only one there's plenty i am like it so in conclusion what can i say about the odor well built fantastic accessories so in terms of its built and accessories nothing but absolutely nothing to be said against it. Um, terms in, in with regards to its sound, very good. Uh, it's it's got a, I would say it's kind of a W-ish signature. There's 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 an emphasis in the mid bass with then a, a slight roll off into the subs, uh, into the sub. Uh, the, a very 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 uh, easy going pin again to just over 2k there's a little bit a little bit of dip and then there's a, a 5k peak there but that 5k peak honestly and i'm very sensitive to it i don't i don't i don't pick up on it i, I just don't I, I don't know if it's because of the mid bass slam that it has 
and that maybe camouflages it. I just don't pick up on it in any way. Um, and then goes down a little peak again, which is couple related, and then some extension past uh, past 10k. So in terms of its signature, it's, it's a very different signature to the to the to the well to these three at least, and, and also to these two. It's a different signature, it's, it's, but it's been well done. It's been well well uh, executed, and um, uh, technicalities in the technicalities department again. Like I said, it's 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 good. It's really good. The only thing that I just can't understand why is the detail retrieval. It's it's got good detail retrieval. I'm not saying it doesn't, but uh, you know, considering the sound stage and the imaging that it has, I was expecting it to be a little bit more detailed. Um, and yeah, that's it. Do I recommend it? Uh, I recommend you go and listen to it. Yes, if you have the opportunity, if you live in a part of the world where you have access to this IM and you can listen to it, definitely go listen to it. Um, obviously, at three hundred dollars, it's not a cheap IM. So I'm not going to tell you to straight away go. Oh no, you must buy it. This is a must. No, I'm not going to tell you that. Um, you know, uh, some of us three hundred dollars is not a lot of money. For others, three hundred dollars is, uh, for lack of a better word, it's a shitload of money. Um, so, yes, you know, if you have the the ability to listen to it, definitely go listen to it. One thing is for sure, and one thing I can tell you, and I'll say it without any, uh, without any problems. This along the H50 and along the serial, out of all the IMs that I have, which have different tunings, is one of my favorite IMs. These three are definitely my favorite of those differently tuned IMs. Definitely, definitely. These three, in terms of hybrids, are also my. My favorite hybrids uh, at this at this price point at least uh, and, and and you know shooting way above their, their abilities I mean th this performs way way above it there's one other I uh, 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 hybrid I am that I could have actually included here as well but I just didn't do it just to not kind of over complicate things which is the mega 5p uh, from high senior which is a fantastic I am more more neutral in its tuning but again also <laughs> fantastic so yeah that's it guys um have a look at it if you can and uh as always if you have any questions please like and subscribe you know ask the quay ask the questions that you want and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye hi guys and uh welcome now to the uh graph part here of the um of the um chimera hodo review let me just quickly just remove your old graphs and just show you the Chimera's graph initially. Okay, so that's the Chimera Hodor's graph. Um, everything sits within more or less an 8 dB uh, window, except for then that peak there at 5. Uh, and although you see this huge uh, mid-bass uh, bump and, and you know, you can kind of maybe think, oh my god, this thing... Is... No, it it's never as... Uh, the sound is never as... Uh, prominent as what it's it shows here. It's got way more sub bass extension than what is shown as well over here. Um, and then the rest is basically yes, the the highs that exist uh, are enough to match the rest of the signature. The only detail that I th I think is the fact that they sound maybe sometimes a little bit not as polished as some of the the the, the other uh, IEMs in this small comparison. So not as, not as it's it's just a lack a little bit of un, uh, un uh, it's it, it's it's just polish it's just about a polish but uh, look this, they, these are minor differences okay so that's one of the well this is the first of the of the group of IEMs which has more let's say unusual tunings okay the next one I'm going to show you now is the ISN the H50 and again you look at the ISN and oh my God what is this and as I mentioned. This um, this subdued energy here, at 2K, you can feel it uh, a little bit uh, with regards to uh, the male vocals. They could be just a little bit more open, okay? Uh, they sometimes a little bit darker, um, but otherwise, uh, again, you know, the graph doesn't really uh, show or or. or, or tell us in anything about how the, the, the H50 actually sounds. 
the, 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 the H50 doesn't sound like you would think here with all this uh, bleed, let's put it into the, into the mids or anything, no. Uh, and I think, uh, to a great extent, the, the, the reason behind that is everything sits within more or less a 6dB window. And I think when tunings are done within such strict windows, they can get away with apparently having weirdish uh, graphing, you know, sh showing, uh, b because the sound is, is really good. It's got some nice extension, uh, that is true. Uh, um, a little bit more extension than the, 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 than the Hodul, but not necessarily uh, not necessarily better in quality or anything. It's, it's they, The Hodul extension is more than what the graph is here showing, okay? Um, the next one I'm going to show you is the serial. And again, this is the third one of the, of the unusually tuned ones. And definitely, you, you by by seeing by 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 actually, let me just take away here the Kainera, the sorry, the um, ISN. Uh, crazy sub bass, crazy mid bass, not only in terms of quality but the quantity, everything. And it's got this very old school kind of mids. The mids are really nice, hot, you know, um, good extension, as you can see as well. It's it's just that the overall tonality so old school so lush so th so thick thick in a good manner not thick in a bad manner because the bass is never muffled or no there's insane amounts of detail okay so these are the these three are the 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 odd the odd bunch let's put it that way okay now let's just leave the hodur and let's start now with the with the rest. First one, I'll put in the yin yin cannon, and the yin yin cannon, as you can see, there's some similarities in the way that this part here of the mids is done, uh, and even the extension, at least graphically. But then when you listen to the cannon, I mean, the amounts of slam the cannon has, and this is in the lowest setting, because if I actually put the cannon in, 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 the, in, the, in the setting which emphasizes the bass, I mean, I can do that in a second. Let me just show you. Yen Yen Cannon. Uh, okay, and let's just align things here. Uh, oops, sorry guys. Sorry guys. Da, 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 da. There you go. Um, okay, now. If you think that this difference here is is small and it's not going to really translate itself to a big difference when you listen to it you, you couldn't be further from the truth it is huge i mean the canon it does just as twist there you know it, it's it's it slams it's like it's really um so that's the canon uh the next one is the Aur Audio Aur, and I'm actually just going to take away the Canon so there's no confusion. This is actually, let me just show you. Sorry, the the Aful first. That's the Aful. Uh, again, everything sits within a nice tight window around 6 dB more or less. Uh, there's more slam than what the, the, the graph shows. Great, really, really good sub bass extension. And the mids are per perfect. I mean, I think it's, it speaks for itself. And then finally, the Aur Audio Aur. Uh, if, again, if I actually just put the last two together, you will see what I was saying that the Aur and the, the Aful they graph in a very similar manner. Um, um, the Aur even showing, is it, I've just kind of uh, uh, highlighted it, the Aur uh, apparently even having less extension past 10k than the performer 5 and it's it's that's not true the performer 5 is, and 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 the, i would have basically got the same extension but um just talking about here yeah, the, the 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 i would um i mean i think the graph uh, again speaks for itself really really good i mean it plays amazing and the base of the award especially the sub bass the warmth, the, the fullness that it conveys. Uh, the only other IEM that has that same kind of base uh, overall is is the um, is the the serial. 
okay uh, and and it and it still does it in a different manner but it's th these two are, are definitely the ones that have the most amazing sub bass and bass of this whole bunch anyway guys um that's those last ones that i was mentioning to you so be it the award be it the canon or be it the uh, performer five they all have very similar graphs as you can see and therefore they fit into that group that i mentioned in the beginning of more standardized more mainstream kind of tuning uh, when i put in here the the outdoor you can see that the outdoor automatically stands out and the outdoor um the isn and the uh, serial all of them again have got very different tunings very different approaches to to how they want to reproduce sound but they all sound fantastic as well so overall there you have it um Kainero hodur very very pleasant surprise i must say oh uh, one thing that i should mention as well is that uh, the hodur has got an eight ohm impotence so this could uh, um, this could uh, be a bit troublesome for some uh, for some uh, that uh, amps, decks, uh, combinations, whatever. Um, it it it, uh, it it's not something that you connect up to your phone and it will play amazing. You know, it needs a little bit of power. I don't really agree with what I uh, what I what I heard from some other um, opinions about the the Hodu being easy to drive. I don't think it's an easy iron to drive. It needs it needs a bit of of guts behind it. Um, and that's it. Uh, once again. Any questions please feel free to ask uh, uh, like and subscribe you know it helps me make the channel grow uh, and that's that okay thank you take care bye bye